Hey, what is up guys? Today we're checking out all the brand new Harley Benton Celestion Loaded 212s to see what kind of difference the speakers make. Hey, what is up guys? My name is Guillaume. And my name is Chris. This is Thomas Guitars and Basses. And we're back with a lot of caps. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be Guillaume <laughs> falling over on his stool. My stool. Uh, because <laughs> he's silly. It's a lot of caps. It's uh, a lot of caps. It's, uh, it's a Harley Benton 2x12 kind of day. Uh, the thing is that the one of the most beloved and probably the most sold, the most sold uh, cab is that one right over there, which is the Harley Benton uh, 2x12 Selection Vintage 30 Loaded Cabinet. It's a mouthful. It's a mouthful. <laughs> yeah. And um, they just came out with literally all kinds of combinations and mm -hmm. finally not only V30s. Because yep. what if you're not into high gain stuff and not into rock I mean, and you want to do some chimey clean stuff as well, low gain stuff, bluesy stuff, whatever you're into. And um, it's pretty hard, it used to be pretty hard to find, you know, nice cabinets, yeah, yeah. not boutique cabinets, yeah, exactly, that have like anything else than proprietary, proprietary speakers, speakers or like V30s, yeah. or V30s, that's it. Yep. And now, there's a cab with two greenbacks, that one right over there, mm -hmm. two creamback 65s, yes. or on the other side, there's one which is a mixed cab, which has a V30 and a UK made creamback 65. Which is, which is what we've been doing on the channel for the better part of two years now. Yes. And the, the main Harley Benton cab that we've been using is a V30 on one side, a creamback 75, but still. A close, um, close enough. Speaker. That gets that gets you wondering where Harley Harley got his ideas, but no, who knows? You know. Maybe. Uh, yeah. So that's something that yeah. we modded. We put a uh, 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 Creamback seventy five speaker in the cab to you know to be able to choose a speaker that fits the style we're playing most. If it's a rock stuff, you know something with more gain, we mic the the V thirty. If it's uh, something that includes less gain or even clean or whatever, then it's going to be the Creamback seventy five uh, that we mic. Now we have all the options, and you guys as well, without having to mod anything, which is pretty Very cool. nice and sleek design as well with the white stripe, because it's like, you know, the, uh, the like old uh, white wall tires yeah. kind, of a, kind yeah. of a thing. I really dig it. So the plan for this video we today are, yeah. is to scientifically demonstrate the differences between the cabinets only. So we'll be playing the same amp, that's going to be the Rev D20, same settings, same pedal board, same cables. We're going to be playing some clean, some crunch into all of the cabs. For this first round, we will play clean on the telly and overdriven on the Les Paul, and we will close mic the speakers. Let's go. Thank you. 
Okay, first impressions? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not surprised about um, the differences. Uh, they're as expected. Yeah. But I'm surprised that it's not super radical. Yeah, I think there's, there's also, like, up until this point, you guys have a much better idea of what just happened because... I think the position made a yeah. drastic difference. Like, obviously, these two were a lot, lot more presence, a lot more everything, and that's because just because right I'm behind right. You. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm right there. But yeah, it was super interesting. Do you already have like a bit of a bit yeah. of a favorite? Yeah, bit of a totally. fave. Should we keep it to? Oh, yeah, okay. No. Uh, ah. I, I am just pointing at myself because I'm. I don't know. I weird. wonder which. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, but let's get let, let's do a yeah. second round. That's going to be maybe a little bit more of a uh, well, put you guys in our shoes, really. Yeah, that's uh, the, the real life kind of uh, comparison. Exactly. Uh, let's invite Francis. Okay, okay, Francis, appear. One, two, three. Hey, buddy. Meet Francis slash Giacomo, Giacomo. depending on who calls him. Uh, <laughs> this is. Uh, the the ghost of a studio engineer trapped into a plastic head, uh, and uh, he's gonna he's gonna help us help you get an idea of what it feels like in the room uh, to be in front of those caps. So yeah, yeah. the idea is just uh, put on headphones because. I mean, you should have had headphones on until now. Should have had had. You should have had had, but now it's even more important to, to have headphones. In case you're uh, struggling to understand what the hell, <laughs> <laughs> this is a Neumann uh, head microphone. Actually, there are two microphones built in both ears of that head, and uh, like super high-end uh, condenser mics, which are supposed to capture what a human per like being would capture. So it has around the same height as our heads, yeah. and will move... Um, Giacomo to uh, the position that fits that cap. So we'll have it right centered depending on which cab we're playing yes. and we'll move it accordingly to give you an understanding of how it feels to have that cab close to you. Because close micing speakers is what we did in the first round. Very important for gigs, for recordings, for whatever, if you want to capture your guitar tone. But for you as a player, you will never sit 10 centimeters in front of your cab right in front of the speaker. I would not recommend doing that. So what you hear is what uh, Giacomo slash Francis, Francis. will uh, show us. All right, we're Shall starting we proceed? With, let's, start, let's start with clean. I'll, uh, I'll help Francis navigate around the caps. Thank you, thank you. Francis, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, literally means 
asking you guys, what do you think? Because uh, that's what you've just heard right now. Um, it's exciting having you with us in the room. Yes. Um, it's your, new. Your impressions. Um, I. It's a bit biased by, again, where I'm sitting. I, I do think that I... I, obviously, I understand why V30 is a V30. Oh, like, yeah. uh, for my playing, at least, it was tighter. It was more presence. Like the high mid range was clearer and like on the yeah. Like that sounded jump, jump. really, really good yeah. on that cab. Generally speaking, I think the the mix uh, Cringback 65 and V30 is the perfect balance. It sounds good with everything like neck, bridge, dirt. No, but like it was Clean, really, really yeah. good. So, so what you're saying is that we've been doing everything the right, right. way for years? The whole time. Oh. The whole, little did we know, we were smarter than we thought we were. <laughs> uh, no, I think, I think that's some of my favorite. The, the cream back was very nice, very lovely, kind of scooped, kind of, you know, uh, big in the low end, a little sparkled, but in general with the gain, that was just a little too muddy, I think. Okay, okay. Uh, and the, uh, the cream back was very nice. I'd say second favorite. Okay. Um, then again, either this one or the I'm uh, one of each. <laughs> a one of each. I'm gonna take the double. Uh, I'm gonna take this one and this one. Two two by twelve. Exactly. Two two by twelve oh, and uh, do yes. like or like or two of this one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're all good. Different flavors. What do you think? Uh, yeah, exactly the same thing. Um, it's so interesting how some people will say like you know, pickups matter most, or guitars matter most, or amps matter most, or speakers and cabs matter most. No, I think the, it's, it's, it's the speakers, because the cabs are made of wood. It's a very shallow thing. Cabs are made of wood. It's a very shallow thing to say, like, this is the only thing that matters and nothing else really matters. It depends on the style, it depends on your playing, it depends on your rig and everything. Speakers do make a big difference, yeah, clearly. Okay. Like, whoever argues with that doesn't really listen. So um, that's that's obvious, but... It's all cool. Like, I didn't feel like um, no. there was a huge difference in the room. Probably closed micing reveals a lot more. So the first round of this video yeah. was probably much more in your face. Like, the differences were more obvious. Here yeah. in the room, and I think Francis captured that too for the second round, it was just different flavors of the same awesomeness. So mm. I still heard the same guitar with the same drive and the same amp. It just had a little less mids, a little more mids, or, you know, yeah. the V30, generally speaking, is a very in-your-face, direct, fast uh, attack yeah. kind of uh, sound, which is awesome for gain. For clean, yeah, it was for, a little for bit cl For clean on the bridge, for, for, for clean on your bridge pickup, I was like, ooh. That's, that's not the most oh. pleasant kind of bridge tele pickup sound, yeah. but it was still It was know, still good, nice. it was still a good sound. Then the greenback, as you said, not a lot of mid-range. I loved the sparkle. And, uh, and the low end, yep. uh, clean, awesome. With drive, it instantly brought me closer to a Marshall kind of flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that would be something like a, a Marshall cab with green bags. I mean, come on, what a sound of ages, right? Yeah. And then the cream bag, the, the fully cream bag loaded on the third cab had the most creamy sound. It's funny to say that, yeah, but, but I mean, literally, yeah. there's a reason for them spraying the, the protector for this, the, yeah, the magnet, magnet cream and calling it cream bag. It does sound super sweet in the mid range. Yeah, uh, maybe not as much like sparkle as like a, a green bag, mm -hmm. but hey, it's a you know different flavor. True. And the mix cab is like my favorite because it just does it all. It's so cool. Mm. It sounds awesome for clean and dirt, and uh, you can literally mic whatever you want, which is exactly what we did again. Yeah. And I stand by it. I love it. And we still didn't mention that these new cabs can be open back cabs as well. You can decide on opening up or just leaving it closed. We had them closed this time. Maybe not next time. Yeah, let us just know saying. in the comments if you'd like to see that video, maybe the difference between open and closed. We might do that, maybe today. Uh, while you're down there, if you can consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell so you don't miss that future video that we're just going to make. and uh, In five minutes. In five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you take care. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.